I'm joined here today by Carla Neugebauer, who became an EMBO member in 2011 and who works at the Max Planck Institute for Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics in Dresden. You've done part of your, or the first part of your scientific career in the United States, mm -hmm. then you moved to Europe. Where do you see differences between North America and Europe and the way science is being done in the two different environments? In Europe, uh, it does seem a bit more collaborative, I would say, um, mm -hmm. almost to a fault, because I know some of my younger, some of my peers uh, have been criticized because they collaborate so much that then when they come up for promotion, the reviewer says, well, gosh, everything you've done is in collaboration with someone else, so <laughs> what have you really done? So, you know, you have to kind of keep this in balance, but I think that it's a nice thing about the um, European community mm -hmm. that there is a lot of collaborative work. So, so that's a difference. The other difference that I notice um, is that uh, in the American system, I think women are better represented at the higher level, um, and I really, I didn't notice that when I first got to Europe, but now I'm starting to notice it a lot more that among seniors in science there's a much less representation among women. I got involved actually in gender equality issues uh, because my, actually my uh, superior at, in Dresden was Kai Simons. Yeah. He asked me to create a database of expert mm -hmm. women um, in the molecular life sciences in Europe. The database has been really successful and it's now hosted on the EMBO website. Mm -hmm. um, and we have 725 European women in there from full professors to senior postdocs. So we, really, we start with senior postdocs. And the aim is to make successful women more visible. Where do you see EMBO's role in European science? I think that what EMBO does that's very important is um, it's introduced a, a culture of science where it's understood that you need more skills to be a successful scientist mm -hmm. than simply working at the bench 24 hours a day and producing data. Uh, sure, you have to be brilliant and you have to have, get your experiments to work, but you also need to be able to present your science and um, give a talk and write a paper and write a grant and go through a job interview. And so EMBO has been very proactive in putting up uh, training courses, so what are called soft skill courses, mm -hmm. that help people to learn the skills that they need. What would be nice in the future from EMBO is um, a way of just sort of distributing those tools um, to maybe more people in Europe.